We will now move on to the list of speakers for NGOs. The first speaker on my list is International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Mr. President. Among the recommendations accepted today is one to ensure that human rights defenders can exercise their legitimate activities, including participation in international mechanisms, without being subjected to reprisals. Describing this as already implemented is manifestly untrue. A flagrant case of deadly reprisal is that of Chinese human rights defender Chao Xun Li. She, she was arrested, as we all know, as she attempted to board her plane to Geneva to attend the Human Rights Council's September session. While in prison, Ms. Chao was denied proper medical attention and died last week as a result. Chao Xun Li died for her attempt to cooperate with the UPR for her unwavering dedication to the human rights struggle in her country. She paid with her life for her conviction that the United Nations top human rights body would offer civil society some of the space that human rights defenders are denied at home in China. Several human rights defenders have since been either disappeared or detained simply for showing their support for Chao Xun Li. Mr. President, as a Council member, China must uphold the highest human rights standards and fully cooperate with the Council. Chao Xun Li's detention, ill treatment and ultimately her death is manifestly incompatible with these obligations. Mr. President, ISHR and others will use the remaining time allocated to ISHR to observe a moment of silence to remember Chao Xun Li and human rights defenders everywhere who lose uh, their lives in si, this si struggle. Vous plaît, si Please, I have a point of order from China. Yes, China. Mr. President, according to Resolution 5-1 of the Human Rights Council, in its paragraph 31 of Annex, clearly I pointed out that before the approval by the Council of the report of the country in question, apart from the country itself, other stock, uh, s uh, stakeholders can only make general comments. According to this provision, at this meeting, NGOs can only make general comments and statements. The time allocated to NGO by the Council is the time for making statements. It is not time for doing anything else. Anything beside making statements does not correspond with the uh, rules of procedure. The human rights, uh, International Service Human Rights, uh, uses the time to do other things than making statements. It contravenes the rules of procedure of the Council. We request you to stop such practice. Thank you, sir.